Back Raider Nation, just want to tell you guys that I'm, I'm going to start uploading videos every single Friday, Saturday at the latest. So every week I'm going to have a video up Friday or Saturday so you guys don't have to worry or wonder when the next video is coming out. Unless something happens, you know, a big story breaks out, we sign a, new, a crazy player and I'm going to have to do one right then and there. But uh, just want to tell you guys that before I start the video and let's get right into it this week. We have signed Joshua Cribbs. Josh Cribbs from the Browns. He used to play there eight seasons. He's a badass kick returner. He was a top 100 in 2011 of players voted by the players. So I started thinking, man, I'm excited. This guy's going to be badass. He's going to destroy the uh, special teams category for us since last year Jacoby Ford was hurt. And uh, we didn't really have any depth in the uh, special teams. We don't have any special teams players that can run it, that can kick return or anything. So let's give you guys a quick little stat sheet right here. I put some notes out for you guys so you guys can see what has he accomplished in his career as a Brown. He has totaled 12,169 career kick and punt return yards, making him the sixth player in all of NFL history to reach that 12,000 mark. Okay, so that's crazy just on its own. But besides the point, he also has 10,015 career kickoff return yards. The kickoff return, which is the fifth most in all of NFL history. And his 11 total return touchdowns also rank him fifth. So like many of you guys, I was excited about this signing. I thought Joshua Cribbs was a good signing, but I started doing a little research on him. Um, a lot of the comments from the Browns fans were that he's done, that he's shot, he's not the same anymore, he doesn't take it to the house anymore, you know, he's had that concussion, I want to put that video up, I remember last season, I saw this game and I was like, damn, this guy got rocked, so anyway, uh, check that out, uh, another thing that I also know about Joshua Cribbs is, is that he has some knee issues, okay, he's had some knee issues, and, um, I think that that's going to be the biggest thing that we're going to probably have to keep an eye on is to see if his knee will heal up in time for the, you know, the preseason and for the actual regular season to see if he's going to be able to perform the right way. So uh, I'm excited. At the same time, I'm kind of like, eh, you know, you can't get too excited for that kind of stuff. The Raiders decided to sign this guy named Matt McLoin. Okay, he's a six foot one, 210 pound uh, quarterback out of Penn State. Okay, school. This is just a quick stat. I want to give you guys this quick stat. I'm going to do an, a, another video tomorrow, and I'm going to go over Tyler Wilson and the whole quarterback situation, and it's also going to be the fourth-round pick analysis like I, I told you guys I was going to do. I stopped at CO more. I got distracted with a couple things. Okay, back to Mac McCloin. He uh, set a, a career school record of 46 touchdowns, and in 2012, he had 270 completions and 3,266 uh, yards and he also was to tie in the season standard with uh, touchdown passes of 24. That's just a quick little stat. I wanted to give you guys a little something. Another player that the Raiders have signed is Kyle Padron. Okay, he's a quarterback coming out of Eastern Washington and uh, he threw just a little quick stat. He threw 2,491 yards for 17 touchdowns and seven interceptions. Okay, uh, he helped lead the Eagles to a semifinal appearance in the F FCS playoffs. So anyway, the quarterback situation, it's pretty crazy right now. We have currently five quarterbacks signed on. The only thing that I'm kind of worried about is this Matt McLoin guy I kind of just told you guys about, is that he was signed for a three-year contract. So I think this is good. Obviously, all this quarterback competition is only going to be better, and it's going to push every single quarterback. I just don't understand why we have so many, and who's going to get first snaps, Second, you know what I mean? Like, that's going to be a big, big deal. And uh, stay tuned. I wanted to make this video short. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to cover Tyler Wilson, the fourth-round pick. The draft analysis for that, I'm going to also cover the quarterback situation a little more in depth. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick video and let you guys know what's currently going on. And tomorrow I'll cover more. 
And like always, guys, uh, subscribe, thumbs up the channel if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next episode. Here we come, baby. Just win, baby. Feel the storm of the cold autumn wind.